This shit is so fucking weird. What's up guys? My name's Kylie. If you've not been here before, you should totally subscribe down below. And if you're already subscribed to me, then welcome back to my channel. So, if you are watching this and you've probably seen Tana's video um, about her stalker, the one that I'm referring to specifically was posted on October 3rd, 2016, and it's titled, My Soccer Took Pics of My Sleeping Body and More. And I watched this video right when it was posted. I haven't watched it since. I haven't even thought about it since. And I pulled it back up literally five minutes ago because I got an email on January 4th of this year. And so that was a couple months after I saw this video. And I remember her reading this, like, story slash description email that she got from somebody. And I forgot that she even mentioned the name of who sent it to her also. So, anyway, on January 4th, I got this weird email from YouTube. And it was, like, from a user messaging me on YouTube. I don't even know how to message people on YouTube. Like, I don't know how, how I receive these messages. But anyway, so I got a message from this user on YouTube like challenging me to like do these weird creepy questions like talking about nudity and like what's my favorite cannibal corpse song if you found a rotting corpse in the woods in a bedsheet coffin would you have sex with it what the fuck do you mean that was the first email that i got from this user and i was like okay whatever just some freak on youtube and i didn't reply to it obviously and then this morning at 7.57 a.m., which I'll show you in a second, but I got this email at 7.57 a.m., and it literally came from the same fucking person that emailed her, and I, like I said, I literally just pulled this video back up, and she mentioned the user, and immediately I was like, holy fuck, that's the same person that sent me this. So I don't know if it's just like some weird YouTube scam where this dude is sending it to like a bunch of people, but um, I don't even know how, like where the fuck would I come into play? Like I don't comment on people's like videos or anything usually, so I don't even know where he would find my channel first of all, but he sent me like multiple messages and this is literally the same exact fucking email that she's reading, like, right now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's gonna take a while to read it, because, like, it's long as fuck. And it's literally the same exact fucking email. Like, if you watch her video, you know what I'm talking about. And it says, Sick. She is so beautiful, he thought to himself. He loved her so much. Her hot, silky body. The way she tucks her hair behind her ear. Her ever-so-loving voice. But most of all, he adored her sweet, innocent face. He knew all of its lines and creases, its many soft curves and sharp, sharp angles. Sometimes late at night, he would lie awake for hours, staring at her while she lay peacefully on her pillow, gazing lovingly at her features, memorizing its contours with the tips of his fingers, and yada yada yada. If you want to listen to the whole thing, just go watch her video. I don't want to read the whole thing, but I will show you, just so that like you know I'm not fucking lying. At 7.57 a.m., you can just pause it if you want to read it. I don't know if that's even clear. So, I don't know if this dude is just doing this for attention. I don't- I- now I don't think this was like actually her stalker, the one that has done everything else because this makes no fucking sense, but um, it is the Jason Voorhees with numbers, like she mentioned, and the weird part is that he also emailed my private email address that is not linked to anything, it's not linked to any social media, nobody has this except for a couple people, it's a work email. And somehow, he emailed that email. Hiya, if you want, you can make a video reading some of my scary stories. Check out my YouTube channel for my scary stories video. As a hobby, I collect scary story books, read scary stories, and make scary stories. And then, you might want to watch this YouTube video because it involves you. And then there's like a bunch of stories and shit. Like, I don't know why this got sent to me. 
I don't know who the fuck this is, but I went to his YouTube channel. So this video is over an hour long that I went to and I don't know how this didn't get like released sooner, but he, it literally shows like I'm watching it right now and it's showing him email or showing sent emails to like a whole bunch of YouTubers and obviously she's one of them. Oh wait, he's naming off all the YouTubers that he sent that story to. Why though? This is so strange. Okay, so anyway, I don't know what the fuck this guy's problem is. Currently watching one of this dude's videos. <laughs> he's talking about how he's fascinated with serial killers and cannibalism. And that's what inspired him to write that story. Because it gets really fucking dark if you listen to the whole thing. It's... Yeah, so he's, it's like an attention thing, I guess. He wants people to recognize the stories that he's writing and get him some kind of gig with him. That's fucked up and weird as fuck. <sighs> well, anyway, I have no fucking idea how he got at least my business email. That makes absolutely no fucking sense. But anyway, those were the emails that I received. <laughs> Um, super weird. I don't know, like, I'm irrelevant as fuck. I don't know how he would have even, like, came across my channel, but I was a chosen victim, <laughs> apparently. Okay, well, anyway, um, <laughs> if you guys want to see more, then subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video.